Welcome to a TB Aquatics Real World Review. TB Aquatics has provided products for this video. TB Aquatics has no editorial control over the video or the contents. The views presented in this video may or may not represent the views of TB Aquatics. The reviews of the products are 100% those of the video personality and were not influenced by TB Aquatics. Try out the Carbonate Hardness Test Kit by Neos. Comes in a nice little bag by Reagents 1 and 2. So Neos has already done a great video on how to actually perform this test. In this video, I'm actually just going to give my opinion about um, how it stacks up against what I'm currently used to using, which is the API test kit. Let's get started. Instruction manual. Several languages to choose from. Feel free to pause the video if you want a closer look at this. It says that the test kit is good for approximately 50 uses already. The fact that it, I have to use two reagents, I'm, I'm not too excited about this test kit, but I, I want to see how easy it is to read too. Okay, it says add five milliliters of water with a nice easy to use syringe. I, I do like that actually. The API test kit does not come with it. Add two drops of reagent CH1. Normally with these locking rings on most bottles, I just chuck them because they end up getting in the way of the test. One, two. Gently swirling. Add the drops of CH2 to the vial until it turns red-orange. Eight. Nine. It's starting to turn. Ten. Okay, so this test kit, I'm going to add one more drop to see if the color changes. It got slightly darker, so I, I would guess that maybe the, the final value would be ten and a half. I don't really care about, you know, locking in the numbers. I just want to avoid big swings. I'm going to rinse this out and then test with the API to see if we're around 10, 10 and a half. Okay, so now we're going to do the API test. And this is pretty much all you need to do the API uh, DKH test or the KH test. I don't even use the cap anymore. I just keep some tank water uh, wet on my finger as I perform this test. And all you're looking for is after you add the first drop, you're looking for that color change. And once the color changes, you know what your value is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I always cheat a little bit. So this is the starting color. Eight. Nine. Starting to change already at nine. Let's see if we get a, a more pronounced color change with the tenth drop. Not really. So I've been measuring with this for a while. Now I'm kind of confused on what my KH value really is. Is it nine or is it ten? According to API, it's nine. According to the Neos test kit, it's ten and a half. Again, I don't really care if it's nine or ten and a half. Um, I just don't like big swings. Now, as far as the ease of use on each test kit, um, there are pros and cons to both. I'll be honest. With the with the Neos test kit, I really like that it has a syringe that is included with it, so you get an accurate measurement the first go round at uh, how many milliliters you're adding to your test vial. Both test kits are requiring five milliliters, so who knows? Maybe. Um, I'll use the that syringe for my API test kit. Um, the thing that I don't like about the Neos is that there's two reagents that you have to use. Um, you saw with the API test kit, I only had one reagent. Um, it's kind of a split down the middle. If I only was going to buy one kit, which one would I get? Again, I liked it the fact that this has a syringe with it and that the vial is plastic. I can't tell you how many test kits I've bought just because I accidentally dropped the API uh, vial, which is glass, 
and uh, you know I basically have like three or four of these bottles of reagents laying around, but I keep buying the kits because I break the glass tubes. So um, again, that's a point for the Neos. But all in all, the API test kit, when it comes actually time to do the test, it's easier to use. So it's kind of a split down the middle for me. I, uh, I'm not really sure which one I prefer. They're both really strong contenders for what's going to be the best bang for the buck. Well, anyways, I, I hope that that put you guys in somewhat of a clear direction. If um, having a plastic vial is more important than a, a glass vial, I would definitely go with the Neos. If you don't care and you just want your test to be easy and you got carpeted floors and you're never going to break the vial, maybe the API is going to be the way to go for you because it's a lot easier. There's, there's two things that come with the kit, whereas the Neos there's four things you got to make sure you don't lose if you want to perform an accurate test. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment below. Let me know which test kit you guys prefer. And if there's anything else that you want to see me review, give me a suggestion. And thanks for watching.